All right, folks, this here is gonna be what you call another one of them their power pole videos, because everybody needs to do a power pole video, or they're just wrong, and I don't have one yet, and I have been wrong for too long, so it's time to undo all of the wrongdoing and do something right for a change. I got these fancy power pole booty things here that are pretty cool. I'm gonna slide this on first before I forget, because it's gonna make this look super professional. And uh, what we have here is a power cable that has come with a brand new radio and has just got raw ends on the end of it. And these raw ends are not even big enough to like plug into a regular power supply. But you gotta get started somewhere. So uh, this is the other end because radio manufacturers don't know that we power pull things anymore. Center positive, outside negative. So we know what to test with when we are done. And on this end, they are labeled positive and negative. But under most circumstances, your wires have a stripe on them. So you can kind of figure out from one end to the other which, which end is which and which wire is doing which. I am going to take my IWIS uh, for Anderson Power Pole Crimp Amp 153045 and uh, use these. To do it. There is a link for this crimper down below in the description. It's an Amazon affiliate link. Doesn't cost you anything to click on it, anything more than it would have cost you if you had bought it without doing that, but it does help support the channel a little bit. These are just some plain old generic unbranded, actually I think it says, <laughs> can't tell if that says Amen or Amen. Either way, there's a link to these down in the description as well. I have not had any problems using the non- um, the non-power pole power poles, the non-branded power pole power poles. And uh, what I like to do is have an existing power pole thing laying around so that I can make sure that I line up everything appropriately in the four dimensions that it needs to be lined up in in order to make it make the thing. So let's make it make the thing. So first up we're going to take the red wire, the red lead, and we're going to put it on the positive side and I'm gonna actually slide it in as is without making any changes whatsoever. And then I'm gonna slide this one on also without making any changes whatsoever. And we'll try and see how well that works. So let's see, these should be, I, always, I think I always use the middle one, but I'm not sure, we'll try it out. So I put it in with the spade pointing down until it bottoms out. and then crimp it on down. And that looks like it's held on pretty good to the jacket of the wire and has made a good electrical connection. But the next thing that I do after that is I solder it down. Let's get these both done while we're waiting for the soldering iron to come up to temperature. There we go, that one went in a little bit farther. So I'm gonna crimp this one here a second time. Now, I, this one here went in a little bit farther this time and got all the way in. So, these already have a little bit of solder on them from the factory. We're gonna put a little tiny bit more on to make a good connection. And might even use my helping hands to hold this thing up. That melted the uh, insulation just a tad, but that's okay. It's going to be hidden inside of the connector, and no one will notice. And you are supposed to get yourself a fancy power pole tool but I just use a regular screwdriver if I can find it. We'll use that one. And like I said, this is where 
I like to have a sample laying around. So what I want to do is I want to put these guys together first because I like pain. And you know what? I have two different types here. Let me go to my stash and get two of the same types. If I would not have done that first, that would have been a pain in the butt. Okay, so next up is to get these guys in here properly. And I always call these things spoons, and so what I say is spoons down. Put that one in there. And put that one in there. So we've got negative to black and positive to red, and they are lined up spoons down and we'll get them put in there and then I'll take my screwdriver and I'll put it on the back of the power pole connector, the back of the crimp connector thing and I will use that to slide it in until I hear it click and now it's clicked in place and it's not coming out double check positive to red negative to black slide this thing on up here Come on. All right, we'll get out our power meter here and we'll set it to voltage. And this thing's starting to come apart, so we're going to have to test out on the channel a new power meter. So I put red in there and I put black in there and I get 1363 positive. Okay, so now I want to take this and plug it in there like so. And then again, this says center positive, outside negative. So we'll put the center positive piece in, we'll touch the outside negative, and we are at 1362. So we test out 100% clear. And that, my friends, is how you do power poles. Quite easy.